Friday we begin the novena to Christ the King. As we prepare to celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King, King of the universe. I want to share a few thoughts with you on the feast itself, the solemnity of Christ the King. I also share a few thoughts with you as how you should approach the novena. The feast of Christ the King was established in 1925 by Pope Pius XI. That's a secret card he wrote on the 11th of December 1925 called Quas Primas. And here our Holy Father Pope Pius XI was drawing attention to how the world was becoming increasingly secular and nationalistic and how governments were claiming more allegiance from their citizens. And by so doing, they were pushing God out of the world order and out of politics. And our Holy Father was arguing that if we take God from how we do things, how we organize society, the world will know no peace. Because God is the king of the universe, and therefore we can't do without him. So by doing so, our Holy Father was encouraging all Christians to remain loyal to the kingship of Jesus. Kingdoms come and go, and we know many of them that have come and gone since civilization began. But the kingship of Christ has remained. That should tell us that the kingship of Christ is real, it is permanent, it is enduring. So this solemnity calls on all of us to renew our allegiance to Christ the King and make him part and center of our lives. So as we pray the novena for this solemnity, it is important to keep in mind that we are praying for all nations all over the world that they will live out their mandate from the understanding of the kingship of Jesus Christ, that he exists to serve Jesus, to serve the King of Kings. So we also pray for all politicians, all civil servants, all who are involved in the governance architecture of our country, that they won't just operate from an assumption of other values apart from the kingdom values. But the kingdom values will motivate them and help them shape our country for the good of all of us. We also pray that politicians will be influenced by Christian ideals, that the common good would influence how they organize our country and how they rule, how they make laws. We also want to pray that Jesus will reign in our homes, he will reign in our hearts, he will reign in our bodies, that we who serve him may always and at all times be influenced by his kingship and remain loyal to him over and above every other organization we are involved in. So as we pray this novena, may the kingship of Jesus be established firmly here on earth. May the kingship of Jesus be established firmly in our hearts. May the kingship of Jesus be the one that will at all times influence us as we live our lives. Indeed, his kingdom has no end. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray, Lord, may your kingdom come. So even as we pray the novena, and as we pray the Lord's Prayer, may the kingdom of Jesus be established firmly here on earth for our sanctification and his glorification. I wish you all a happy novena.